Yo, what's up guys? So, as you see in the thumbnail and the title, I messed up my fenders on my 300 ZX. I tried to make, uh, I tried to install this little plastic fiberglass piece into my original fenders. I wanted to try to make a little two in one. So I ended up cutting this out and destroying the fender. I pretty much destroyed it. The design I was going with was not gonna work out. My dad ended up helping me out and giving me some advice on what I could do. So let me show you guys what I had to do to restart from scratch. All right, look. So if the audio's a little messed up because of the wind, I'll go ahead and do a voiceover. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. So I had to completely cut this fender in half, keep the side that was still good, and then cut half off of my other Z's fenders that were no good from the front because they were just completely bondoed to the bend, to the bumper. I was not gonna use these. I mean, check that out, that's gross. I'm not gonna use this. So I went ahead and got this Z that had these pretty good fenders that I could use. They were pretty straight. I was gonna leave them alone, but then I decided to buy those stupid aftermarket fenders. Let me show you one that's not cut. This is what it looks like when you order them. Like I said, the wind's real crazy right now. But check it out. That's the fender that I was gonna use. But when I bought them, they do not fit. They do not fit at all. So I was just gonna cut out the vent, like I showed, that, showed you that other piece, and use it on the fender, mold them together. But that was not gonna work out. It was gonna come out real ugly, and it was not gonna hold. Later on down the road, it'll crack, and I'll, I do plan on keeping this car. Well, not this car, I plan on keeping that car. These fenders are gonna go on to that car when they're done. But I was, I'm planning on keeping that car for a long time, and I want my work to last. So what I'm gonna do now is with the original fender, I'm gonna cut that vent. I'm gonna cut it, make my shape, fold the metal, make uh, patch panels to fill in the gap. Then I'll go ahead and put that chicken wire on the inside. It's not really called chicken wire, but that's what I like to call it. That's what it looks like. So right now I'm welding this fender together. I got my gaps pretty straight. This was pretty straight when I took off the headlights and the bumper. So this didn't move. All I did was remove this side after I cut it. I cut it all the way down and removed it. So that way it would not mess with my alignment this way. And now I just need to finish filling in this gap with welds and I'll be done. <clears throat> and I'll be done with this fender and I'll be able to take it off and go ahead and start doing the design. Like I said, I'll go ahead and cut it the way I want. I'll, uh, I'm putting them. <clears throat> I'm going to cut it the exact size as the other one because that is the design that I want. So it's good I have those so I can use the measurements of that vent and be able to cut it out pretty clean. And these fenders are going to look pretty nice once I put them on that. They're going to be all metal and so it's going to last a lot longer. And, a wide, and then I'm going to wide body the rear so that way the rear matches the front. It's going to look real clean. The design that I have is going to look real nice. But that's how I pretty much ruined my... 300 ZX fenders. I jumped the ball, tried to do it myself without thinking and asking for help. And when I asked for my dad for some help, he ended up giving me a whole different design plan that I decided to go with that, you know, because it was a way better design, gonna last a lot longer and a way better repair process. All right guys, so that's how I pretty much ruined my 300 ZX fenders. I cut it out without asking for help and I ruined it. And the plan and design that my dad had was way better and I should have just asked him for help in the beginning because then I wouldn't have to be doing all this extra work. Now, look what I gotta do. I gotta weld these two together and good thing I had a pair of fenders that were still good because if not, I would have been screwed. I would have been screwed because these fenders are not cheap. They are not cheap right now. So 
I'm happy and very, very lucky that I have an extra pair of fenders that I could use and I'll be able to continue the work on this car. I can't wait to show it to you guys once I can get you guys some more, some more work footage and get some more content for you on this vehicle. I will because this is my baby. This is my dream car. 300 ZX is my absolute dream car. I love it to death. I never plan on selling my baby. She's back there. I'm gonna work that. It's gonna be one of one. There's not gonna be anyone in the world with the same Z as me. I promise you guys that it's gonna be custom 100% from front to back. So I hope you guys like this little video. I appreciate you guys for following this, following the channel and subscribing. Make sure you guys like the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We work on a lot of really cool cars. Uh, we just got this Integra after the Type R we did. We're moving along on the 58 Apache. My Z is gonna be going into primer, epoxy primer pretty soon. And we're gonna be working on my dad's 56 Bel Air. So you guys don't wanna miss what we have in store because we build some really, really cool cars and we can't wait to show them to you guys. I appreciate the love. Peace out.